With the Omniverse scaling application, you can synthesize data simulating sensors and 3D models. First, we select the data generator extension, then the data we want to use. It can be a single USD file or a full data set of 3D models, in which case the application will generate synthetic data for each model included in the data set. Once we've done that, we select an output directory for the synthetic data. We will then select a the number of rendering of synthetic data per scene. We have access to multiple categories that are common sensors and pre-processing. Here I'm selecting RGB image and semantic segmentation that are used with DeepR differentiable renderer. There are various options that allow you to fix or randomize certain parameters. In asset, you can fix the bottom elevation of the object to the origin, normalize the size of your object so they are all about the same size, which make it easier for camera positioning. And you can also select the app axis depending on the system of the dataset. Here, with the kitchen dataset, we should select the Z axis. Then you have camera and lighting setting. There are three different sources of light. Simple source of light, camera light, and a sun, which is an infinitely distant light source. All of them can have position and parameters values fixed or randomized within a selected range. For instance here, I want to have a fully randomized camera position around my object, but I want the orientation of my camera to be always toward the origin. For lighting, I will disable lighting, camera light, and only keep the sun with a fixed position and orientation. You also have access to material randomization that are useful to train robust model used on real world. Finally, in the render settings, you can change the resolution of your sensors and the render used for RGB. We can currently select either ray tracing lighting and pass tracing. Please refer to Omniverse general documentation on RTX rendering to know more about it. You can also add some subdivision to make the surface smoother. You can then preview the results of your settings. Here you can see the output of the two categories of sensors are selected, which are RGB and semantic segmentation. If I add one, such as depth, you will see that the new output get added in the preview. Once I'm satisfied of my settings using the preview, I can then generate the whole synthetic dataset using the run button. The application have generated a new dataset in the selected output directory. You can see the depth, some metadata containing information about transformations and camera position, the RGB image, and the semantic segmentation. There are 10 of each of those files as desired. If we are satisfied with the settings, we can then save the configuration if we want to reuse it later. For more detailed information, please see the documentation of Omniverse in its scaling application.